Do you enjoy music? Did you watch my video on why hi-fi and think, my speakers could use an upgrade? Then you looked into what a pair of high-end home audio speakers cost, didn't you? Yep. Guess what these speakers cost? And these? Investing in high-end home audio is worth it, but you know what's even better? Building your own speakers. There's wood and saws and drills and paint and speakers and tweeters and saws and more saws and you can do it. Honestly, you might already be a seasoned maker and are realizing some fancy pants speakers would be an awesome next project. Or maybe you've never built anything with wood and are interested in getting your hands sawdust dirty for the first time. Well, fret not. A good pair of speakers is not much more than a woofer and some wires, then you put them in a wood box. Okay, so it's a little more than that, but not much. Now I think I know what you may be saying, but I don't have any fancy tools. That's okay. The first speaker I built was made with a circular saw, a framing square, and a drill. And you really don't need much more than that to get started. Oh, well, some wood and maybe a pencil and a tape measure or a ruler but still not the fanciest of stuff. And glue, don't forget the glue. The best part of building your own speakers is getting creative and putting your own unique style into the project. Want them painted with every color you have on hand? Go for it. Want them to be minimal and modern to fit your home decor? That works too. And once you dive into the endless combinations of enclosure shapes and design, all the different materials you can use, there's really no end to the options that you can create. If you're interested in making your own pair of speakers, hit that subscribe button. Every week I'll be adding new videos on speaker design, general home audio, and speaker building. Thank you so much for watching.